Okay, and welcome everyone back to the second part of this Let's Play. In the last one I told you that I was going to change up how my character looked. This is how I'm going to have him look in this uh, series. Um, and I made him a rogue, so... We're going to deal with rogue talents. And I'm going to go with dual weapon sweep. And like I said, I'm going to play on normal. For generations, your family, the Kuzlans, has stewarded the lands of Hyam, earning the loyalty of your people with justice and temperance. When your country was occupied by the Olesian Empire, your father and grandfather served the embattled kings of your land. Today, your elder brother takes up House Kuzlan's banner in service to the crown, not against the men of Jose against the bestial dark spawn rising in the south. I trust then that your troops will be here shortly. I expect they will start arriving tonight and we can march tomorrow. I apologize for the delay, my lord. This is entirely my fault. No, no. The appearance of the dark spawn in the south has us all scrambled, doesn't it? I only received the call from the king a few days ago myself. I'll send my eldest off with my men. You and I will ride tomorrow just like the old days. True. But we both had less grey in our hair then. And we fought all legions, not monsters. At least the smell will be the same. I'm sorry, Pop, I didn't see you there. How? You remember my son. I see he's grown into a fine young man. Pleased to see you again, Pat. I knew Oral Hell. My daughter Delilah asked after you. Perhaps I should bring her next time. To what end? Ah, to what end, he says. And so glib. The boy's a whip like his father. See what I contend with, Hal? You can't tell my fierce boy anything these days, make up bless his heart. As uniquely talented as his father, I'm sure. At any rate, Pop, I summoned you for a reason. While your brother and I are both away, I'm leaving you in charge of the castle. I'll do my best, father. No, that's what I'd like to hear. Only a token force is remaining here, and you must keep peace in the region. You know what they say about mice when the cat is away. Yes. There's also someone you must meet. Please, show Duncan. Honored to be a guest within your hall, Tyrion Kuzlan. Your Lordship, you didn't mention that a Grey Warden would be present. Duncan arrived just recently, unannounced. Is there a problem? Oh, of course not. But a guest of this stature demands certain protocol. I am at a disadvantage. We rarely have the pleasure of seeing one in person, that's true. But Brother Al has taught you who the Grey Wardens are. They're an order of great warriors. They are the heroes of legend. Ended the blight and saved us all. Duncan is looking for recruits before joining us and his fellow wardens in the south. I believe he's put his arm on Sir Gilman. If I might be so bold. I would suggest that your son is also an excellent candidate. Honor though that might be, this is one of my sons we're talking about. Is there a reason I shouldn't join them? You did just finish saying that Grey Wardens are heroes, old friend. I have not so many children that I'll gladly see them all off the battle. Unless you intend to invoke the right of conscription. Have no fear. While we need as many good recruits as we can find, I have no intention of forcing you. Pup, can you ensure that Duncan's requests are seen to while I'm gone? 
Of course. In the meantime, find Fergus and tell him to lead the troops to Ostagar ahead of me. But I'd like to stay and talk to Duncan. You'll have plenty of time after we're gone. We must discuss the battle plans in the south. Be a good lad and do as I've asked. We'll talk soon. I'm gonna ignore you and talk to him anyway then. Jeez. But as I said, I mean, I do have items from those expansions, so... I was hoping to ask you a quick question or two. Very well. I doubt your father would mind a slight delay. Are there really dark spawn in the south? Indeed. We spotted a horde assembling in the Corsari Wilds not three weeks ago. Luckily, King Caelan took us at our word and marshaled Corelden's forces quickly. The first battles have already been fought. My father and I must move quickly. How many dark spawn are there? Thousands. Perhaps 10,000 or more in this world. Normally the dark stars stay in the deep roads, and roads give so many risks for service. How much danger are Fergus and my father in? Well, I understand the first battles have gone easily. Indeed. Are the Grey Wardens sure this is a flight, and not simply some large, dark spawn rain? No archdemon has been sighted yet, my with my entire soul, I believe this is a light. I wish we shared your faith. I suppose we shall see for ourselves once we arrive at the King's camp. Would you really recruit me into the Grey Wardens? Of course. You are young, skilled, and obviously responsible if your father is willing to turn his castle over to you. The Grey Wardens do not recruit simply anybody, and I intend no flattery when I say you show promise. The old treaties allow me to conscript you even against your father's wishes, but I never do so. Our order is too small to risk animosity with the government's suitability. I'm glad I am to hear it. It's tempting, my lordship, but I'm content to see what other candidates your castle offers. Did you really come all this way to see Sir Gilmore? I have only found a couple of worthy candidates in my travels across the realm. Your father invited me here, suggesting this Sir Gilmore. If he is not suitable, I will head south and join up with the King. You know the King? Not well. King Caelan is an eager young man who has shown great wisdom in responding to the Dark Star threat. I've heard he is a bit enraptured with the Grey Warden legends, and that is why he caters to your order. How? That is unworthy of you. He only repeats what we've all heard. Whatever the king's reasons, I'll take his support. The priority is defeating the dance floor. It will be threatened all of the road. I'll leave you alone then. Until we speak again. Yes? How long have you and father been friends? We fought together under King Marek when he drove the Olesians out of Ferelda. Heavy times. The years since have not held the same promise. It's not something a youth would understand. I like how he it has be good black to rise skin. Your father again. You knew King Merrick? Your father hasn't spoken about time with him. That man took care of his friends. As they say, he was large as life and twice as tall. <laughs> it's too bad Caleb was half. You don't think much of King Caelan? I think of him as much as he thinks at all. That's enough. Ouch. To speak about King. Oh, the boy did ask, your lordship. As per the latitude you were now. I really not my opinion. Your daughter is interested in me? 
the topic has come up from time to time, the young and their infatuation. I got the impression that Lila didn't like me. I'm sure that was years ago. People change. To be honest, I have no expectations. And your father seems determined to let you... Again, I really love how he has black skin. If something did happen... It's like eating his skin. We'd address it as befits a family of our stature. We'll see. I'm sure there will be much to discuss once I return. I trust that a light with your men is nothing serious? Poor weather, I believe. Their progress has been slow, but it's nothing you need worry about. You told my father the delay was your fault. In a manner of speaking, if I had reinforced our border levies earlier, my troops could have left before the rains. I confess, my confidence in your father allowed me some complacency. I guess that makes it as much his fault. I just want to wish you well, Arahel. I thank you. That is quite unnecessary. I don't like that look. I don't like that look one bit. Deep mushroom. Good evening. Good evening. I love how swords float in this game. It's awesome. Good evening, my lord. Good evening. Done and done. Complete. Ooh. The next. Some copper. And elf root, which in this uh, version, the console versions, that's so much less useful than in the PC version. Uh, we should be able to talk to more in the minutes Later, we got left. Prepare a place for us. Redeem our world from sin. Forgive our transgressions. Maker, forgive us all. Have you come to pray for your brother and father? I'd be happy to ask for the Maker's blessings with you. If it will make you feel better. Would it not make you feel better? I'm just feeling frustrated. Because of your brother's departure. I should be going with him. Your insight and cleverness would be of great aid, but your father doubtlessly fears risking both his children in battle. I will pray for the safety of your father and your brother. Join in if your heart compels you. Creator of the sky, the land, and the sea, hear your people in our time of need. Say nothing. Let no man have cause to fear the shadows. Let their souls be lifted upon your return. So let it be. Say nothing. Your faith is silent tonight. I hope you are just deep in reflection. There are many more who must receive the Maker's blessings before they leave. If you would excuse me. Thank you, my lord. It is the least I could do. If the worst comes to pass, child, take comfort in knowing that the Maker's will take many forms. We shall talk once the soldiers have departed. The reason why I had him, my character, be silent is he's feeling a little left out, almost as if his father prefers his brother. Even though it's not true, he kind of was agitated and, in essence, took it out on uh, Mother Malol. But uh, anyway, our time is running short. We're down to two, one, zero. 
Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload at least the first two of this series to YouTube, hopefully, by this morning, um, Eastern uh, Time for uh, America. But um, what we're going to do is take care of that. And uh, thank you, everyone, for watching this Let's Play. And please tune into the next one. Thanks for watching, folks.